the way I look at it is you really have to be at the this is at the leading edge of these things to do things that really provide orders of magnitude improvement. In a pure hardware inside, it's really becoming a game about if you can manufacture it, do it here, pretty soon it's going to move to China, and then you use the cheap labor and things to do it. It becomes a game to bring a cost of something from $5 to $4 to $3 to $2. That's not an interesting business from my perspective. Kind of things I'm looking for are the things that are fundamentally, like I think everybody talks about uh, what Apple did with uh, iTunes. It's not, there were a lot of commodity media players out there is what they did. They tied up content with it and the value of there. Mm -hmm. So it's really kind of new innovations in the model where it's uh, not just the software or hardware side of it. I've, by the way, not given up on the software industry because enterprise IT all said and done is a $500 billion a year market. So there has to be innovation. Right now we are at a stage where people who in last four or five years invested a lot in their huge ERP systems, they're not about to go outside and look at a startup to do things. But the trend that I'm finding interesting in that area is as the demographic and corporations are changing, as younger and younger people are coming into the workforce and they have different way of doing business, rather than that cold, dry ERP system, they are used to working off of a Facebook and other things. So they are actually looking for a different kind of environment. And I. I have strong belief that these people, as they get more influence in corporations and drive decisions, they're going to kind of force a new computing environment, and there would be opportunities. So, so it's, it will be like Facebook, f but from within the corporation, almost, so the social or, networks. Or broadly, I think people are, because business is becoming more about collaboration with your partners. Mm -hmm. And why don't you kind of, uh, in a secure fashion, so like I had a company, Reactivity, which we sold to Cisco. It was all about building secure partner networks. So it's not that you kind of close yourself up from the outside world. The idea is you have to be open. Like when I was at Stanford, I never installed a firewall because I just don't believe in this concept that everybody good is inside this wall and everybody outside is a bad guy. Mm -hmm. You have to be interacting. It's a globally connected economy. You have to be open to the world, but you're still in that open environment. I think this whole concept of perimeter security doesn't interest me. Is the security really has to be at an application level or even within application level at a very granular level, like in these cases like what happened with Society General and other in France, where they didn't have enough controls because you can't assume everybody, just because somebody works for you, they can't do any damage. You have to really have very granular control that if somebody is your trader for energy stocks, they can only trade in energy. They can't go in in some other sector, so you kind of limit their privileges. Um, but I think collaboration broadly at a global level, because most companies now have employees in Eastern Europe, Europe, India, China, other places, and how do you effectively collaborate across those? and take full advantage of your team. So there are, I think, even on the enterprise side, a lot of opportunities. Uh, I think enterprise 2.0 is an overused term, but clearly, I think, a new way of looking at things. Uh, and where are valuations with enterprise 2.0 software, if you allow me to use that term? Because I know that there were not many people interested maybe 18 months ago, uh, more and more so. Now it seems like a lot of people are piling into those types of investments. Do you think that there's already the opportunity may have passed? Again, uh, I'm actually looking at, at the end of the day, you have to look at what's the fundamental value you're providing. I mean, enterprise IT, $500 billion a year market. 80, 90 percent of their budget is really what I would say is right now consumed by maintenance. Keep the shop running. A lot of people have like maybe 10% of budget to play with. How do you do new things to improve business? So looking for, the way I'm looking at things is what are the processes where there hasn't been enough automation that you can kind of improve? And then within that context, try to figure out either is a fundamental shift in a business model where it kind of gives a group a lot more efficiency because they're able to interact with their partners more effectively or a very uh, fundamentally different, but lot cheaper way of doing business. So I'll give you an example. I invested in a company in 2005, boringest of the space. Like I couldn't even get any other VC to take a meeting. 
supply chain. It was completely out of favor. But the reason I was interested in that company, they were basically going after the fundamental shift in the supply chain, which is manufacturing has gone global. And the traditional ERP systems were very vertically integrated, assuming that manufacturing is happening in the corporation. So these people are out there kind of tracking hundreds of vendors in China, Taiwan, wherever, and kind of giving you visibility into that chain and can also right away inform you if there is a fire in a factory in Taiwan, alert you right away that if your capacitors are coming from that factory, it can really limit your ability to ship your computers. So it's really looking at that broad side of it. So as the business is changing, you kind of look at, I think analogy I'll use is as every new generation of computing, as we went from mainframe to client server to peer to peer, you had to come up with a new generation of network management architecture. As manufacturing is changing, you really need a new architecture for your supply chain. So those are that. So I think I kind of tried to look for what are the disruptions that have fundamentally happened, and then what are the needs created by that, and try to satisfy those needs. And I'm, I'm very convinced that there will be many of those opportunities that will happen on the enterprise side also. It's not done.